Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Pup coming back with week six of the PWC season 11. Uh, today we are facing off against Eli the Rebel. Um, we played them in the PDD and now we're playing them again in the PWC. They did fill in for someone after, you know, like two or three weeks or something. Um, but they're a great battler, so I'm really excited for this one. And they have an insanely scary team. I mean, all of the uh, teams in Paldea decks are insanely nuts. Especially with the Terra Captains um, that are absolutely nuts. But let's get right into what we're seeing on Eli's side. So they're going to have that Terra Dread now, which is super scary, being able to set up Shell Smashes. Uh, but that's not even the worst of it. They do have Ursa Luna, just the regular one. So we've got Blood Moon versus regular Ursa Luna this week, which is super fun. They can just, you know, put on the guts and destroy me. They also have Sui and Samurott set up spikes. They have um, Aurora Veil vale support with Alola Ninetales. They have Metagross. They have Noivern, Palmot, Claude Sire, Decidueye, Oricorio, and Frostmoth. So two um, nice Quiver Dance sweepers in the back. Save a lot of that sweeping potential, you know, setting up the Veil, setting up spikes, and getting Pokemon like Dreadnought, getting Pokemon like Frostmoth in to just set up. So really afraid of that one, and we have to play around it, but we also have to play around the hazards because they do have that Asuian Samurott, which I could see them, like, wanting to lead with. Um, I could also see them stacking us with the Claude Sire, which is really annoying. Even the Metagross um, could stack and just be a huge threat to the team. So hopefully we are able to, you know, take him out pretty decently. We're uh, we're gonna start off with this Basculin here, and we're just Choice Guard Final Gambit. We're like max HP. We have some decent attack investment because we only need to outrun the uh, the Suian Samurott. It was the best speed tier. I don't think they're gonna bring a Scarf or a Corio. Um, I don't even think Ori Corio comes to this game, but I guess it could. But no matter, um, we're just gonna lead with this thing. And even if they bring in Claude Sire to start, I feel like they they have to be unaware in a matchup where I have potential like Sword Sand Scissor or Nasty Plot Darkrai, even Calm Mind Ursa Luna. So I feel like they have to be unaware. I don't think they can um, ever be Water Absorb. So I think they'd always be threatened and switch out while I just click Final Gambit and get a kill on anything on their team. Um, the only two Pokemon that it wouldn't knock out. Um, for sure is the Ursa Luna and the Claude Sire, which are both weak to water, so why would they switch in? But if they have like a, a max HP Metagross, then that could also live, which would be annoying if we lead into it. But if they're not max HP, then we will be able to take them out. Um, most of their Pokemon on the team have just around the same HP as Basculin, but I don't think a lot of them will run that max HP. But we're also running outrunning stuff like Noivern, which could be an, uh, a common lead which they would probably feel pretty good leading up against me. So I just click Final Gambit and I get a kill on turn one. Next up is going to be our Scizor. Heavy Duty Boots because they do have all that spike stacking and we're not bringing our spinner today. But we're just Bullet Punch U-Turn knock off Brick Break. Um, we can break the Aurora Veil. This can always switch in to the Nine Tails. Thought about running a Choice Banded set, but I think this is better since we do have that Brick Break tech, making sure that we're able to break it while being able to switch up our moves afterwards. We also have another Choice Scarf Darkrai on the team. This just, you know, ensures that we are the fastest thing on the field because Scarf Noivern is actually kind of decent. I feel like they could run it. They also could run something like Scarf Pawmot, Scarf Tails. Um, and we just want to make sure we outrun everything. It also makes sure that like a plus two Dreadnought, we're going to be able to outspeed and be able to do some damage to afterwards. So that was really nice. Or just Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, Sludge Bomb, you know, for some decent stab. Um, they might be like Terra Fairy, which is why I have that um, that Sludge Bomb. It also hits the Ninetales. But I also have a Will-O-Wisp, where if I'm not going to kill a Dreadnought, or if they haven't terra yet, I can click Will-O-Wisp into them, and, uh, you know, just be able to threaten them with that, so they can't sweep me. Next up is going to be the Heat of the Week. We are Fling Big Nugget Metacham. This Pokemon is super sick in... Uh, this game outspeeds a lot of their team, um, outspeeding the Dreadnought, Metagross, Decidueye, Frostmoth, Ursaluna, and Claude Sire, being able to do a ton of damage to all that stuff, so we're just really breaking down their walls. Um, but the Decidueye is an easy switch in to Metacham if I want to click close combat, but we can fling the big nugget and be able to one-shot that thing if they're offensive. Even if they're defensive, it does a ton of damage to them and it might be able to one-shot them. 
which is just a super sick heat set that I'm really excited for. Um, and we can also, you know, use Bullet Punch to kill stuff like the Ninetales. Um, Dreadnought, if it's like Terror Rock and if it's set up and, you know, weakened, we can maybe knock that thing out. It's just a really nice mod to have here. Um, I'm really happy with the low tiers that I picked up in this league. I think they are all doing a ton of good roll work. We're going to have Screamtail Heavy Duty Boots so we don't get spiked. Um, and then we have T-Wave, Psychic Noise, Wish, and Dazzling Gleam. This would be nice to pass wishes to the Scizor and to our last Pokemon in the back. Uh, but it's really nice to get Thunder Waves off on their team because nothing appreciates it. They have, you know, a couple of immunities in Ursaluna, Claude Sire, and Palmot. Uh, but none of them really want to come in on Screamtail. Maybe the Ursaluna. But, I mean, we have, we have ways to deal with it mainly uh, our next Pokemon, which is going to be our own Ursa Luna, which outspeeds the other Ursa Luna naturally. We put a little bit of investment into it just to make sure they're not going to be able to like, just put a tiny bit of investment to outspeed us. Uh, or Silk Scarf, Blood Moon, Hyper Voice, or Power Vacuum Wave, which will just get a kill on their team. Um, yeah, literally we just click Blood Moon. If they want to switch into Metagross, fine. I'll just Earth Power it and knock it out afterwards. And then we get another free Blood Moon. Um, and they don't have a good way to revenge kill me in one shot. I don't think suing Samurott can one shot me. I don't think Dreadnought can one shot me. I don't think like even Frostmoth can one shot me. Alolan Ninetales probably can't either. We just throw off Blood Moon and it destroys their team with this Silk Scarf. Um, but we can get wish passes to this thing if it gets chipped down. Um, but it can also, you know, it has pretty decent defense stat. So you know, we can play around like fire punches from Ursa Luna that they might want to be throwing to predict Scizor. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But that is going to be the team. I am definitely most scared, scared about the Ursa Luna, especially if they're a trailblaze set and able to set up. But, you know, we do have this Darkrai in the back um, that can potentially, you know, click Ice Beam into it. I'm assuming they're going to be Guts. So I can't really like Willow that thing, but it'll be fine no matter what. That's about it. See you guys in the battle. All right, we are connected to Eli. We do see a lot of stuff that I expected. Um, the Frostmoth and the Ninetales, which is a little bit of an issue since they get that boost. Obviously the Dreadnought, Noivern was expected, very expected. Um, and the Decidueye, the which makes me feel really good about the big Nugget Meta Jam. But yeah, we can literally just like lead in Final Gambit if we want. Um, if they are Noivern, we do just take them out in one shot with this Choice Scarf Basculin. So I don't hate the idea of doing that. I also don't hate the idea of going Ursa Luna because it destroys them. I also don't think I have to worry about the hazards really because they didn't bring the Samurott, which is really interesting. Also, no Metagross. Yeah, quite interesting to start it off. In that case, hmm. I could just like, I could lead Screamtail, which I think is really solid into them as a lead, especially. I feel like they might want to set up the Veil though. So like Scizor could be a good option, um, but Noivern. So it might just be best to, you know, go Basculin. I think we're going to go Basculin. We're just going to click Final Gambit. Actually, no. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna go Scizor first, just in case they wanna get the Veil up. And if they lead with the Noivern, we can swap out to Screamtail. Maybe not my best decision there, but like we pretty much wall Noivern with Screamtail. Um, like they can do less than 30%, you know? It's really not a big deal. Okay, as they lead with a Dreadnought, that's scary. That's definitely not what I was expecting. I definitely should have just led with uh, what I had. Dang, man. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's interesting. Scizor versus this thing. I mean, if they're Terra Fire, they can just get me right off the bat. Um, else, I think it's fine to just U-turn. I mean, we might see Terra Fire, Terra Blast here. And if they do that, it's totally fine by me because then Basculin goes crazy. So they're just gonna set up rocks as they are faster than Scizor. Totally fine. 
And we do a good chunk, which means they are super offensive. Okay, Basculin's gonna take um, some damage when it comes in. If I wanna go for just, you know, the final gambit off the bat. But I think I'm gonna save it in the back for a little bit. Dreadnought's at 50%-ish. Um, Vacuum Wave would not quite take it out, but just a lot. I also could just go Screamtail. Even Metacham and threaten this thing. Let's see, what do I want to do? Loki, I think I want to go Screamtail. Maybe just throw off a T-Wave, because it's really good against their team. Really interesting lead here. We're just going to T-Wave, though. If they want to click Terra, that's fine. As we miss. That's tough. That is tough. And they're going to head smash. <laughs> Man, that does over 50. They take a lot of recoil there. Um, at this range, it should die to Psychic Noise or Gleam. Gleam is just best. So let's just go for it. As they're going to Terra this turn. Let's see what it is. Interesting that they waited so long to Terra, as they are Terra ground. All right, well, I didn't go for another T-Wave, so we should be able to take him out. And that's a huge threat out of the way so early. We love to see it, even if there's rocks on my side. I don't really mind it too much. This thing can always wish up too. All right, let's see what they want to bring out. Maybe Decidueye. I could definitely see an offensive Decidueye being an issue. But if they're offensive, like Dark Pulse just destroys them from Darkrai and we are Scarf, so we outrun them even if they Trailblaze. Ugh. Trailblaze. So that is what they go out to. We could also go something like Scizor, um, but if they're gonna click like Poltergeist, it's gonna hurt. So I might just sack this thing to get a T-Wave off. Hopefully I actually hit one. And then I think I can bring in Metacham. Honestly, Metacham like one shots this thing for sure. I'm a T-Wave just in case they end up being like some sort of Trailblaze set, uh, because that definitely worries me. So they are paired. As they are SD, okay, yep. That was something I was super worried about. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw a Wish up. And they're gonna sneak, okay. Ah, uh, sneak might just knock me out. Yeah, sneak would super knock me out. Um, but Darkrai probably is able to knock them out. Plus two Leaf Blade will definitely uh, take me out in revenge though. All right, what if I go into Scizor first and potentially click Knockoff versus them? If they're Culber, I'll break that. They're also paired. Like, I could go Ursa Luna afterwards. Like, you turn to Ursa Luna. Ursa Luna, are we out running that thing? We are. We actually just one shot it with Blood Moon. I think it is a little bit safer to go Scizor first. And we're gonna U-turn. I just don't want this thing to be uh, to be Culberberry. That's why I'm not going Darkrai or just clicking Knockoff as this, this thing. And they do switch. So that's totally fine. So they're gonna go Nimona. All right, that's the Pomot. Do a good chunk with Scizor there. Is there helmets? Okay. Yeah, I guess we probably should have done more. Um, this thing is really fast and hurts my whole entire team. So I might just go Basculin and, you know, mess this thing up. We did some chip. Yeah, let's go Basculin. We're gonna take a little bit, so we're at, what, 299 or something? It should be Mold Breaker. Yeah, I'm just gonna click Final Gambit, 
and not really care too much. If they want to go Decidueye, that's a great play. But no, we just get the Gambit off. I should knock it out. <laughs> yep, just trade one for one. That Mon was actually a threat for me. So I feel totally fine doing that. Um, in this endgame, we do look kind of weak to Noivern. Um, but it's nice that we have Scarf on the Darkrai. I think I kind of want to go... Do I want to go Scizor or do I want to go Ursaluna? Because Ursaluna loses to obviously both of the, uh, the Ice types. We need Scizor around for it. Let's go Darkrai here. As they show us something we haven't seen. Which is going to be the uh, Alolan Tails. Now we're in a little bit of a tough spot here. Sludge Bomb would obviously do a lot. Moonblast might be able to KO me back, uh, depending on if they're invested or not. If they're max invested, um, it's like a 99% chance to take me out. Maybe I should have gone Metacham because we do have the BP. And I kind of need this Mon. All right, we're going to go Scizor here. If they want to set up the Veil, I can click Brick Break. And we can kind of scout out what kind of set if they go for Moonblast. Hypnosis. Are you insane? Are you absolutely insane, buddy? That's crazy. Um, I am just going to click Knock Off. If something else wants to come in, I would like it to be knocked off, specifically Decidueye, which does come in. That is great for me, as they are the Culberberry. Okay, that's what I thought they might be. Did just under 50. So Culber, they definitely have some HP investment, potentially max HP. In which case, we should be able to knock them out with another knockoff. Shadow Sneak does a decent chunk, but it's not too bad. But yeah, we do knock him out. Perfect. Um, and now the play is they're going to bring in Noivern, who's going to have Flamethrower. And we just need to make sure that we uh, switch out. Unless they bring out Frostmoth. No, they bring out Noivern. This thing super has Flamethrower. Um, we're going to go hard Blood Moon. on this and we're just going to click Blood Moon and pick up a kill. Um, Flamethrower into Draco does not take me out from most sets, even after rocks. Stay U-turn. Good play. Good play by them for sure. If they are Quiver Dance Frost Moth, it's a threat. That's what they're going out to. So Frostmoth either kills me or quivers here. All right, we do have bullet punch. We have double bullet punch in the back. So I think just taking my damage is the most important here. We're gonna Blood Moon, because so they are gonna quiver. Yeah, super threatening here. Plus one in all those stats. Um, we should do like 40% to this thing though. Yeah, we do less than that, for sure. No more snow for this guy, which is great. Um, it means it should just die to Bullet Punch from Scizor. So I'm going to click Hyper Voice here. They're going to take out Ursaluna. That's totally fine. If they are Babiri Berry, it's still fine. Because we have Bullet Punch on Metacham in the back as well. As they are Life Orb. Okay. Yeah, that just means we go Scizor. Totally fine. We get that BP off. Really nice having the boots on this thing. As we're gonna switch, are they going hard Noivern? Is that Noivern? It is, okay. As we do a ton of damage, wow. All right. How much does Noivern do with a Draco onto Darkrai? Do they kill? After two sets of rocks, it's a roll. So we're going to go hard Darkrai. 
And then we are clicking Sludge Bomb, I think, no matter what. I don't think Ice Beam makes much sense. Is there going to Flamethrower this time? Great. Does a lot of damage. Um, and I think all we need to do is get Chip on this thing, and then we completely win. So I'm Sludge Bombing. Yeah, it's a good play for them to switch out. So they're gonna give me the nine tails. Which this is fine. I think this is always winning for us. Poison doesn't really matter. I don't think that ever matters. We're scarfed, so we're outrunning everything. No veil for you. Um, Ice Shard can't even kill me. So we do take out the nine tails. Um, so either they go Frost Moth and they put themselves in range of Bullet Punch even in the snow. Um, which they do. Frost Moth. So in the snow from Scizor. Bullet Punch definitely like kills from this range already. We're just Sludge Bombing no matter what. Maybe Poison? Nah, they just Bug Buzz. Totally fine by me. Darkrai is going to go down. We're going to bring out the Scizor. And we're just going to Bullet Punch with that and then Bullet Punch with Metacham. Because Metacham Bullet Punch versus Noivern should be able to take it out, right? After Bullet Punch from this thing for sure. Oh, yeah, I think we have it here. I'm pretty sure I'll put them in range. It might be a roll, though. I don't know. It's going to be kind of close. We're obviously just bullet punching here. Oh, yeah, that's totally in range. As they air slash. Wow. They really thought I was going to go Medicham. All right, I guess we're going to get 2-0 instead of 1-0. But we do have mul bullet punch on Metacham, so it didn't matter. I guess their end game was really to, to hope that we didn't have priority on Metacham in the back. And then catch me switching there, catch me lacking. But yeah, uh, very good game to Eli there. Um, yeah, I think that Air Slash play, like if they click Flamethrower, was probably their best chance just to, you know, make sure I didn't have priority, like to take advantage if I didn't have priority in the back. But we do take it 2-0, which I feel really good about. Um, good game to my opponent. Um, definitely check them out. They're doing Heat of the Week for um, the Pokemon Premier League. So yeah, you better check that out. They're uh, up there in the big leagues. That's about it for me. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and sub. Leave a comment letting me know uh, who's your favorite on the team so far. And yeah, that's about it. See ya.